Um, so this is a case report that I came here to present. Um, we have a 13-year-old patient that was diagnosed with HIV, which we presumed was perinatally acquired. Um, he was treated with first-line therapies, including IVIG, but had poor um, response. Uh, after two years, he was requiring treatments about every three to four weeks. Um, would show a response, but then would drop and have symptomatic thrombocytopenia again. Um, so we, based on the literature, uh, decided to trial him on L-trombopeg, uh, 50 milligrams per day which is a thrombopoietin receptor agonist and he showed sustained clinical response and has been asymptomatic since starting the medication. Yeah, I think there's definitely uh, implications here for the patients that don't respond to those first-line therapies. Uh, the challenge is that there's not much literature out there. Currently, the only study looking at um, thrombocytopenia uh, refractory to first-line therapy in pediatrics is the Petit studies, and they've approved this medication for chronic ITP, but there's no studies looking at other causes of thrombocytopenia and how they might respond to L-trombopeg as well. So this was an off-label use of the medication um, based on limited clinical data.